Okay, a bit of juggling here because it's uh, hard to get mitts on when uh, you're holding a, a cell phone uh, to try and record things. So, um, a little bit of a, mm, not exactly a break, uh, kind of a digression, but related to our discussion of uh, digital signatures. And that is, we want to talk a bit about integrity and the technologies around integrity, particularly of information, files, that sort of thing. Um, we have uh, parity checking. We've got small uh, pieces of data. Um, just a, a simple parity check uh, in, in certain situations to try and, and make sure that something hasn't changed. Um, a, a line of text, maybe, something like that. Uh, interestingly, they, well, uh, it's more checksum, I suppose, which, uh, again, is a little bit more extensive than uh, just a simple parody bit. But um, the uh, uh, Hebrew writing uh, literature, uh, particularly with regard to the Bible, um, they uh, had a a sort of a checksum feature themselves at the, the end of every line that they were copying you know, in the old days that's how you made books you copied them um, they they would copy and they would calculate uh, a checksum because all the uh, letters of the Hebrew alphabet had a numerical value and and so you'd add them up you'd have a checksum and that would be included at the end of the line uh, and, of course, as you're uh, copying, you compare, you know, do you have, do you come up with the same number as the one listed in the book that you're copying? Um, and, uh, of course, we just talked a bit about hash. Um, the, uh, the hash value uh, calculated, um, uh, and again, you know, this is, you know, parity, uh, mostly a single bit, check some, maybe one character, um, uh, hash values, uh, a larger piece of data, and so um, able to detect uh, the integrity of, of larger amounts of data. Um, there are error-correcting codes. We have uh, talked about uh, Hamming code um, and the fact that there's error correction uh, built into the data encryption standard, DES. Uh, so we've got some of those. Now, uh, in, in terms of symmetric encryption, we talked about things like keyed hash, uh, where we uh, can protect the integrity of the integrity check itself uh, to a certain extent. Uh, and uh, now, of course, with the digital signature, we can extend that and have not merely um, a check on the integrity, uh, but a pretty strong indication uh, that, yes, we know who uh, created this and nobody else could have either created it or messed with it. Um, since it was created, uh, since the the signature at least was was calculated and and provided um, attached to the data, so um, yeah, we have uh, uh, more extensive uh, and and uh, well, hopefully better. I mean, because we've got additional uh, functions that we can perform with uh, these uh, more extensive uh, forms of integrity control. With a digital signature, um, we, can, we can authenticate, you know, who is the author, um, who is the originator. Uh, we can authenticate users. Um, 
we can authenticate the messages. And of course, message by when we're talking about cryptography by message, we're meaning uh, additionally files, programs, uh, you know, any data object, not in terms of object orientation necessarily, but just, you know, any, any data. Um, we have uh, uh, software, we have devices, uh, we have network nodes. So all of these things can be authenticated with digital signatures, and indeed we do. Now, as I say, uh, the digital signature gives us additional functions, it gives us a non-repudiation for the first time, um, it provides uh, strong authentication, but we still have to do some management. Um, with symmetric encryption, we were primarily concerned with uh, key management and, 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 you know, fairly simple key management of that. We had to make sure that we actually did it. We had to make sure that our management of the keys did not, in fact, uh, create a problem in compromising the keys. Uh, but it's still fairly straightforward. In terms of protecting the, uh, the digital signatures from asymmetric encryption and the authentication that asymmetric encryption gives us, we have to go to public key infrastructure. And that is not simple.